Hey Terrell Squad, welcome to the first ever Q&A with the turtle. That's me. So recently I put out a questionnaire on all my socials saying I'm going to be hosting a Q&A. Asking for you guys, my viewers, to send me questions. I got some good questions in. So let's answer these and see how this goes, shall we? The first question is from Caffeine. What's your next goal on YouTube? Well, besides it's getting up to 200 subscribers, of course, my next personal goal is to get 100 views on a video in the one week period I put it up. But that's not all. It is to do not once, not twice, but three. Yes, three times in a row. A hundred views in one week, seven days, on three videos in a row. Is it ambitious? Yes. Is it likely to happen soon? Probably not. But hey, it's a goal. Our next question comes from Candy Jack. Question is, where I get all of the parts for my costume? Well, take a photo right over here and go from head to feet. Okay, so my mask. Most iconic part of my costume right now. I got that one off a shop on Etsy. I simply looked up Carol Mask and found this on Etsy. Liked it and ended up buying it. The bell cop I'm wearing, I got it at a stand at Midwest Fur Fest. I don't think I got their, their cart. Otherwise, I would tell you who I got it from. My bandana. I got at my first real furry convention I've been to. Tarpaw. Once again, I did not actually get their business card because I didn't think about it. My shirt. It's off Amazon. I simply typed in sea turtle a costume shirt and this comes up. The backpack, aka my shell, is from Hot Topic. Right around the time that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie with Megan Fox was airing. The undershirt? Eh, nobody cares. Pants? Nobody cares. The tail? I want to say I got that at a convention called Anthro's Crossroads East. Once again, did not get their business card. The feet? It actually came from FursuitSupplies.com But I grabbed these at another er, Tarpaw event. The sandals? Well, I got at Midwest Fur Fest. The stand I got the sandals from seemed to be specializing in shoes for fursuits. Otherwise, I don't have their business card. I should have grabbed it, honestly. But yeah, that was... Dan Jack Spencer. Hey guys, post comment here. I realize I forgot to talk about my hand paws. They were made by a local maker going by Sane Friendly Fursuits. Links in the description below. Check them out when you have a chance. My next question comes from Rex White. What is your plans for the next five years for YouTube? Oh, that's difficult. Well, for one thing, I'm planning to gain at least 200 subscribers in the five year period. How I do that? Well, I'm not, definitely not buying them. But I plan to be making more videos, better quality, and more interest to help lure in the subscribers. I plan to do more collabs with other furry YouTubers. I already have a couple in mind right now that I'm thinking about reaching out to. So if you get a notice from me soon about doing a collab, you've been called out. I'm also going to do more research in depth on how much I can actually use 
the footage wise from a movie for a film review before I actually have to pay for, you know, the rights to show all of these scenes because no money. Speaking of money, within the next five years, I plan to set up a Patreon account. But you don't have to pledge to me if you don't want to. Well, it means the world to me. Doesn't mean you have to though. That money would be going toward paying people to actually edit my videos for me or at least design my thumbnails for me. Maybe even paying people to do scripts for me. Cost for gain items for videos. And if I'm being completely honest, it would also go towards tickets to get into a convention. Would not be going into with a cost to get to said convention. At least, not right away. <laughs> because I right now only have two tiers solidly planned in my head. So yeah, look forward to that. That means that if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see as the Patreon reward for different tiers, let me know in the comments below. Our last question and it's a two for one from Northeast Chris. And my question is why a turtle? What is its significance? Well, I actually did a video on this topic way back in my early days. Like my third video up actually. Short answer is I've always liked turtles. And after going to my first ever fur meet, one of my buddies observed that I had a habit of standing to one side and slowly wandering up to whatever caught my eye. Coming out was like a turtle and it just stuck. If you want to see the whole video on why my persona is a turtle, check it out in the cards above and description below. Wow, these were some great questions guys. Keep them coming for next time. I might do another Q&A once I hit the goal that Coffee mentioned or I get 10 plus questions. Whatever comes first. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who gave me a question as well as Dear Mary over on Fur Affinity. That being said, if you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that bell for notification when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, any other furries you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.